Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite riffs, which is Go For A Soda by Kim Mitchell. So if you've never heard the song before, I highly recommend that you check it out. And if you had, let's have some fun and learn this. I'm going to, I'm going to give you the riff in full speed, uh, slow down, and then I've actually got the lesson. So you can watch as little or as much as you need to. Um, I showed you how it went and then I slowed it down a little bit and now let's actually just dig into this and, and figure out how this goes. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're starting off in F sharp and it's more of a blues kind of thing but we're going to be playing the second fret of the first and second strings and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hammer on pull off going to the fourth fret of the second string. So after I do that little hammer on pull off I'm going to drop down to the third string fourth fret and play that note and then back to those two notes and then I'm going to play four three and four now what I like to do is when I hit that four then I do a little slide up so you can hear the slide you don't have to do this and then I get ready here so right there what I'm doing is I'm playing these two notes right here which is part of a C sharp chord okay so I'm playing those with my first finger on the third and fourth strings and then I'm doing this I'm doing a little hammer on pull off to the sixth fret of the fourth string and then I'm heading down to the um, so I'm going up to the 8th fret, I should say. I'm sorry. So I'm on 6 here, going up to the 8th fret. Then up to the ninth fret on the 5th string with my pinky. And then right there, I've got this, the 6s again. Then I'm adding an 8 on the 4th string. And then a 9. Okay, so if I put those together, it's kind of weird. So I have... So one, two, three, four, one. Sometimes I do just a pull off. Sometimes I do a hammer on pull off. Just whatever works for you. Then I'm going to go up. Now I've got the nines and the fours. And that leads us into the end part. So once I do those, right there I do a pull off from six to four, down to that seven. And then I've got... So there I'm playing the fourth fret of the third string, going to the sixth fret of the fifth string, then back to that four, to the fourth fret of the fifth string, back to that four again, to the two of the fifth string, back to that four again, and then my F sharp. So I have... Now you got to figure out what fingering works best for you. Let me put that in perspective and see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I have... So I play those fours with that finger and then move down. And then once I get to this second fret here, I, I use my pinky or my third finger. Most of the time I think my pinky. And then I go over to the octave. Sorry, F sharp, which is our root here. So I have... Thank you. 
Okay, so it's kind of confusing. You just have to remember that you're not starting on the downbeat. You're going one, two, three, four, one. Ba da 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 but it's a lot of fun once you learn how to play it. So have fun. Uh, hopefully this is something that you can practice when you've got a little time. If you're into this song, again, go for a soda by Kim Mitchell. So take care. Do me a favor. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor and like it and share it. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you're always notified when I release new videos. And lastly, if you have any song requests, please look in the description. There's a link that you can click on and uh, request a song and I'll do my best to get to it as soon as possible.